Ty here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome on in. So on today's episode, I was gonna do a kind of an updated toolbox or tool cart breakdown video. Uh, a lot of you guys, or some of you guys have been asking after going a uh, diesel fleet, working on some more heavy equipment, hydraulic stuff like that, if I've had to buy a lot more tools. And the short answer is no, really haven't added too much to my previous collection but I'm just gonna kind of run down my service cart since this is pretty much what I work out of all the time, all day. We don't have assigned bays here like I did back in the dealership. So it's nice to have something a little bit mobile and just figure I'd kind of give you guys a rundown of what I'm rocking with. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I guess I'll just start over here. Got some magnetic trays, nice to hold parts on hardware when doing jobs, some safety equipment, gloves, hearing protection, safety glasses. Over here, I got my lights. Lights are a big deal now. Uh, I work swing shift, so sun goes down half our shift. So gotta have a lot of lights. This is a nice little wand light that I've had forever. And then we have this one, it's kind of nice, magnetic. Also unfolds to a wand. Um, this one, kind of keep it here too as well. This is Blue Point one's pretty nice, pretty bright. I like to have it here for if I'm working out in the, the yard or something like that and don't really, can't really see my tools. It's a nice little kind of dome light setup, but again, just a lot of magnetic lights. Of course, I have my flashlights, stream lights, pocket lights. Lights are definitely an essential for me right now. Uh, I got two long extensions, three eighths and quarter inch. Uh, I kind of just keep those there for those hard to reach bolts. Uh, 15 16 closed end wrench, as well as this kind of angled wrench. Um, a lot of our inspections we do, the outriggers are bolted down with this size socket. So got to keep those there on hand, use quite frequently. You can see here, I have a little cheat sheet for when I do my boom inspections. It requires you to check the torque on a lot of bolts and fasteners. So. I have a couple copies of those are pretty nice. A little Polak connector guide since we, or diagram, so we work with a lot of trailers. Nice to have the quick uh, reading or pin out, however you want to call it, so I can rewire some of those Polak connectors. On the back, of course, got the Milwaukee underhood light, which comes in handy a lot. Really love this light. Still my favorite underhood light to this day. Uh, over here, got my quarter inch impact driver, holding up very nicely still, use this one a lot. Uh, digital air inflator, hard hat, um, some headlamps, these are go nice on the hard hat, uh, give you that visibility, like I said, working when the sun goes down, it's a lot different than before. Uh, screwdrivers over here, starting with the baby chubby ones to a little bit bigger. And even the pry bars going all the way to like 36 inch, I believe. Kind of have those tucked away there. Uh, combination wrenches, still using these Icon ones. Um, we'll say though, they're kind of all right. I feel like this gear tooth or uh, gear wrench part, it's a little cheaply made. I've had it slip, skip a couple of teeth sometimes, so just a heads up. But other than that, they work good. Just anytime you're doing like a high torque application or trying to really break a stuck bolt loose, these have uh, slipped on me a couple of times. So just something I've noticed after using them now for a couple of years. Quarter inch sockets, or extensions I mean, uh, three eighths ratchets, quarter inch ratchet, three eighths extension, this is one of my favorite ratchets, it's long flex head. Get a lot of leverage out of that, as well as the big half inch. Works nice as a breaker bar sometimes. Um, got a tape measure here. Uh, doing a lot of air brake tests, so you gotta measure uh, brake stroke. So I use this thing quite often. Coming down to the sockets, um, got a tray of short and deep standard size quarter inch sockets. Well, a couple U-joints, wobble joints, whatever you want to call them, magnetic sockets. 
just in 10 and 8 millimeter. Those are kind of the go-tos for quarter inch, I'd say. I also have the metric quarter inch, deep and shallow. Um, 3 8 wobble sockets. And the 3 8 metric set, short, mid, and deep sockets. So quite a few sockets. Um, a lot of the bigger wrenches I don't really have in here. Uh, same with these. I bought a whole set of these angled hydraulic wrenches and really only go to grab those when I'm doing the hydraulic repairs. I just keep this one up here because I use it the most, but I do have the full set of this um, starting at, I don't know, three eighths or something, going all the way up to like an inch and a quarter, something like that. Uh, it's a pretty nice set, but like I said, I just keep what I use regularly on the daily. So I kind of try to set my cart up to where I don't have to be running across this giant shop to go grab one tool or all these wrenches for the job I'm doing. So for the most part, I've been able to get a lot of stuff done with what I have here. Uh, some big half inch sockets in the back half inch to three quarter inch adapter sometimes for those big bolts 22 24 19 wobble sockets some 30 32 point 12 point sockets inspection mirror uh, i got the extension over here a couple half inch short ones this is like the transmission extension any time for the bell housing bolts, half inch to three eighths inch. And I'll use those with the wobble sockets. Had that one forever. You guys hear me talk about this screwdriver all the time, but favorite screwdriver from Harbor Freight. You use it as a punch, pry bar. Holds up great. Uh, air chuck. This one goes up pretty high, I believe. Up to 160 psi so this one's really nice you know the semi truck tires those are usually at like 100 or 120 psi it's got the angled head so you can get it in those dualies and get both inner and outer wheels um, some panel poppers use these every now and then for like connection connection stuff like that uh, nice big pick Sometimes removing the radiator hoses, this helps unseat it or just kind of pull in a connector tab off. Really nice. This is just a longer panel popper. Bluetooth speaker for the tunes. And oh, in the back, got some 12 point sockets, just 10, 12, and 18. Uh, work on a lot of Ford F550s with the 6.7 diesels. So this for the crank pulley. These other ones for the drive shaft bolts, use those. Those are kind of the main sizes I found to be using. Uh, multiple Allen wrenches, Torx bits, really just the size I need for a lot of the jobs and inspections I do. So I kind of just figured I'm using these ones a lot. I'm just gonna keep them up here. Well, as a tap to re-thread some of the common size holes on these booms, there's a lot of plastic fasteners and hardware and the plastic bolts snap and you got to clean out the threads a lot so I actually recently just started keeping this guy up here that way I could clean up the threads really quickly uh, tire pressure program tool for the Fords which by the way Fords are so easy to program tire pressure sensors as opposed to Toyota where you have to actually go into the computer with the scan tool and program the sensors to the vehicle whereas Ford you just walk around with this little remote and syncs up the sensors so just to clarify what i work on a lot here uh, a lot of trailers a lot of fords f-150s e-350s f-450s 550s with the diesels with the six sevens in them a lot of the gasser v8s so that's i would say a lot of what we touch here but besides that uh, we still work on forklifts uh, some of the heavier duty or heavy vehicles like the Internationals or the Kenworths, stuff like that. Uh, Freightliners, a lot of those. So that's kind of what these tools are geared towards. I've been able to do several jobs with just what I got right here, including like an EGR cooler on some of those bigger Cummins motors. Um, pulling out Ford F550 transmissions, doing upper oil pans, rear main seals, 
interior work, evap cores, uh, pulling out dashboards. So a little bit of everything and everything, anything and everything. So it's kind of hard to say exactly what I'm working on because you never know. One day I'm working on a Ford. Next day I'm working on a trailer. Next day I might be working on one of those link belt cranes. So kind of just have a little bit of everything. But like I said, having all this stuff in this box pretty much can do most of the jobs. Um, like I said, I have to run to the main toolbox maybe like once or twice a week, depending on what I'm doing. 3 8 cordless ratchet, quarter inch, quarter inch cordless ratchet. Got the Matco, 3 8 I think that was like 500 foot pounds of torque. It's ridiculous. The Phillips screwdriver gun. Uh, Milwaukee, 3 8 impact. I feel like this thing's gotten a lot weaker though over the years, so I might uh, end up taking this guy home. I really don't use him too much. It's usually this guy for my mid torque, which is still holding up great. Go ahead and take this off so you can see a little bit better. Kind of got this as my electrical diag drawer. You got test leads, test lights. Uh, probe back probe kit. This kit is very nice. Part number if any of you guys are interested. A lot of nice back probe pins when you're doing that electrical diagnosis. Comes in handy. Wire strippers, uh, probes or leads for the digital multimeter, which I have back down here. Uh, it was actually a gift. Someone gave it to me a long time ago, and power probe. So that's it for the electrical. Coming right here, got the 3 8 torque wrench. Use that a lot. Pocket scan tool when I just need a clear code or check for monitors real quick. Inspection tool, brake calipers or brake pad life and tread. I don't really touch those. Put the rest of the Torx bits here, because every now and then there's another random one-off one that I'm gonna need but really don't go through this drawer too much besides for the 3 8 torque wrench and the pocket scanner. Coming down into the plier drawer, just got an assortment of pliers, channel locks, picks, crescent wrench, cheapy ass snap ring pliers from Harbor Freight. These things suck, but it gets the job done and I've been too cheap to go back or buy an actual snap ring plier set. Blower, dikes, vice grips, you know, just different pliers, needle nose. This is uh, to cut the air hoses. Sometimes doing repairs, you gotta cut the end of the air line off for the air brake systems. This thing works pretty good. It's a nice clean cut without damaging the hose itself. And yeah. Coming to the last drawer, we got more heavier duty stuff, hammer, mallet, air hammer, uh, drill, another hammer, uh, some spare power tool batteries, oil filter wrench, this one, like I said, a lot of Fords commonly used, brake caliper spreader. Uh, these are an extractor set. It's got a reverse drill bits well as the appropriate extractor. So when you snap those bolts or studs, whatever you're working on, comes in handy. Still have my favorite Ansel, Ansel V6 Pro. This with the Bluetooth dongle, the bi-directional scanner. This one's great. I use this thing more than the factory Ford software I find myself using. Uh, some radiator hose clamp pliers. That's about it for that drawer. It's really organized right now, but you can tell it is kind of getting a little cluttered in this box. It's almost at max capacity, I'd say. I am considering buying that 42 inch box they have at Harbor Freight. I know it's a tool box, but it's small enough where I feel like I can still use it as a roll cart. So we'll see, see what happens. Down here at the bottom, some extra rags. A uh, half inch torque wrench. This thing probably gets used on the daily, I'd say. Boost pipe 
for my 240 that we're not going to talk about. Oh, hard hat, jumper box, pipe dope, doing hydraulic repairs, use this quite often. So yeah guys, that pretty much sums up my toolbox breakdown for the start of 2024 as a lead tech now, doing bumper to bumper repairs here on the fleet side, a heavy diesel hydraulic equipment world, I guess, whatever you want to call it, but gets the job done. I'm really happy with this setup. Um, just kind of wish I had more, maybe more space to put stuff when I'm working on a job because I'll find myself taking something apart and next thing you know, this thing's all a mess. I can't find any of my tools. Um, gets a little unorganized pretty fast, but the cart itself, anyone wondering, US General is still holding up great. No complaints so far. Back, just got some more chemicals. But yeah, guys, just want to kind of give you guys a little updated tour, show you what I've been working with here on the daily. Um, still here. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you got any feedback, questions for me. I'll be happy to answer. So catch you guys later. Peace!